The Mixed Mornings and More podcast with Steph and Sean. Now available Good daily. Good morning, world. Good morning. Happy Wednesday. It's July 26, 531 right now. We're a tad bit late, but don't tell the boss. Oh, yeah. Secrets. He's awake already, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Last night, I was driving down 63, and I saw something, you know, you hardly ever see anymore. Like, it's hmm. so illegal now and so taboo that people just don't do it, hmm. or at least not blatantly. What? Guy was texting and driving. Oh, yeah, that's true. And, and it stands out now because it just doesn't happen all that often. Yeah, and it, especially like when you can tell they're kind of driving erratically. You're like, oh, what are you up to in there? Why don't you know that the, the road is straight right now? Yeah. And then when you go to pass them and discover that their phone is literally in front of their oh. eyes and they're just like, oh, it's a straightaway. I'll just scroll. <laughs> especially when it's blatant and it's like above the window. Sometimes when you look over, you can kind of tell someone's like looking at something in their lap or like mm-hmm. down at the console or something you're like oh i know what you're doing but when it's blatantly like above the window and just in their face like dude what are you doing yeah and it's such a surprise and it's like do you hope to catch their eyes so you can give them the dirtiest look ever like i see what you're doing or maybe that you could hope to catch their eye to be like i'm calling in your license plate look at my angry face <laughs> i'm gonna text in that you're yeah. texting and driving <laughs> i was in the passenger seat i had hands <laughs> <laughs> Team Canada, Ireland, 10 minutes from now, <laughs> we have game two of the Women's World Cup, and it's Canada versus Ireland, and it's almost a must win. This is your PSA. If you don't have it on your TV, it's time. Holy moly, I'm absolutely jacked up for this. Uh, Canada in their first game, they tied Nigeria 0-0, and that should have been a win for them. Okay. And so now Ireland has lost their first game against Australia, who was in the group as well. It's a group of four. And so they kind of need, they can maybe get a draw, but then they face the hardest team in the group for their final game in Australia. And then that 100% is like a must win. So they need to get a result here. And so this is a massive game, and they've made a massive decision as well. What's that? They have not included Christine Sinclair <gasps> in their starting lineup for the first time that I can remember in my in, in my brain. Um, <laughs> in my she, entire life. She, she's the, the, the biggest goal scorer in all of soccer, men and women. She has the most goals for anyone in the international career. And did they explain why? Are they trying to save her strength? I, I'm sure the in the in the post game afterwards they'll talk more about it. Uh, but I mean, she's getting older now. They have some younger, <laughs> more spry players that can. Oh my run. Well, she doesn't play a full ninety minutes anyway. She can come on in the second half and be a sub. Oh, type okay. of thing. She okay. just doesn't have the legs that she used to have to run for a full ninety. Okay, yeah. I mean, yeah. those soccer fields are huge. I don't have any legs to run <laughs> a full twenty. Yeah. <laughs> but they. <laughs> <laughs> they got they got uh, Jesse Fleming back, who was one of the younger stars. Uh, she didn't play in the first game, and uh, she's going to be out there playing where Christine would usually be playing. So uh, hopefully that provides a spark because they were abysmal in the offensive end wow. against Nigeria. Oh, you got some strong words here, and it sounds like Ireland is very hungry now that they have such a, a, mm. a lot on the line. Yeah, so, yeah, so it's going to be absolutely massive. We got the TV on here. I'll definitely be watching. Go Canada, go. We believe in you. Woo-hoo! Yesterday afternoon, the power went out for much of the south side of the bridge, I would mm-hmm. say. Um, Beacon Hill was saying my power is out downtown. I was in Gregoire. My husband hardly noticed. <laughs> um, the episode of the show we were watching ended, and then I just kind of like was like, huh, nothing's happening. I was like, hey, I think the power's out. And he looked up from his phone and was like, really? <laughs> Y'all had like the windows open and everything, obviously, and that natural light in. Yeah, yeah. So there was just what nothing. What like the to... flickering of things? Like you usually hear like a shutdown, like boom. I know, right? I heard the whoosh when it came back yeah. on. My whole house was like, hello, air conditioning, <laughs> hello, bathroom fan, hello, fridges <laughs> returning to life. Yeah. Um, but yeah, turning off, I guess maybe he was just so engulfed in his phone. In the zone. Notice. And then, no, of course, we had no lights on, so it wasn't like anything right. drastic to yeah. stop. But. I have had some other memorable power outages. That oh, just okay. Kinda, you know, they're the one that was that you always talk about. It's just etched in your brain. Yeah, like in 2003. I don't know if you remember this because you're a Sasky boy, but when the um, whole eastern seaboard went out. No, the world doesn't revolve around Toronto stuff, okay? Excuse me. I said the eastern seaboard. It was all <laughs> of Ontario, pretty much. A the bunch world of doesn't the revolve states. around Ontario. Oh, dear. Anyway. <laughs> 
<laughs> Power goes out. I'm at summer camp and we it's banquet night. So all the girls, we are doing our hair. We've got blow dryers going. We have curling irons just going crazy. And then brrr, yeah. no power. And everybody thinks that we blew the breaker. It's our fault. There's oh. no power at the camp. We have to have cold dinner because they're only halfway through making it. So yeah. we've got like this pasta on our plate with no sauce because it was still in the fridge. <laughs> and we continue on. This evening goes. And hours later, they figure out that, oh, it's not just us at this camp that doesn't have power. Was your camp pretty remote, too? So it's not like you could just like quickly drive in somewhere? Or? Yeah. We were outside of Kirkland Lake, which is... <sighs> Just in the middle of flipping nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> well, one way to put it, nowhere. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. But it got me thinking, like, what's your most memorable power out? Did you have any that really stand out? No, nothing that really... I just sleep. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, oh. I'm so good at sleep. I'm like, oh, power's out. Okay, let's make sure we, like, conserve that phone battery. <laughs> um, nothing's working right now. You know what I could do? I can sleep all the time. Sleeping is always your answer. When the internet's out, that's what you do, too. You're yeah. just like, huh, nothing to do. I guess I'll just uh, take a nap. Yeah, that's productive. You <laughs> oh get gosh. up on the so your sleep there. I have to issue apology to you, Steph. Ooh, uh, I'm ready. For something that happened a little <laughs> earlier this morning. Uh, yes. Half hour ago, I told you the world doesn't revolve around Toronto and Ontario just because power went out. Uh-huh. Uh, well, apparently it does because <laughs> you were like, there was this massive storm and everyone knew about it and... I was like, yeah, 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 whatever. But I'm sorry. Thank you. Much I was wrong. It was the power outage of 2003. There was no storm. It was a software glitch, but it did oh. take <laughs> all of the power of like the eastern seaboard, so all of Ontario and a bunch of states. So thank you for caring. Thank you for your apology. <laughs> and thank you to everybody who has written in and said they remember. Yeah. It was very memorable. You texted all your friends, didn't I you? I did not. I did not. But I love what Jill said. She said she was in Ontario when it happened, and her entire street came out of wow. their houses and they all ate ice cream together <laughs> probably because it was good it's gonna go bad they're like well, i've got some ice cream in my freezer too let's all pull it together and make some sundays i yeah. love that yeah jill wasn't the only one julia also said the 03 blackout it was the coolest time as a kid as a parent i'd probably be devastated but as a kid love it <laughs> yeah light some candles and don't burn the house down uh danny said he was in ontario when that power outage happened and he was halfway through watching the movie jeepers creepers nope, nope. don't like that don't <laughs> no. like that at all power no is not me. allowed to go out during a horror movie those are the rules <laughs> i've gone to a, almost a cable tv type of system for watching television now i don't know if that's a good thing are you enjoying it a little bit episode by episode one per week and it, it, it's not it's not like it's it, it's on apple tv but it's just because the show is so addicting that i absolutely love it and they're like you know what this is how we need to do things so that all of our years of work doesn't just get finished in one evening or a weekend it, we'll release one episode at a time precisely that's a that's a solid thinking that you have right there i'm watching hijack right now and it stars idris elba okay and it's with this airplane in the sky and it gets taken over and he's like a professional negotiator so he kind of dives in and yeah. tries to, to calm the situation, basically. And Idris Elba, I mean, any project he does, you're oh. usually like, wow, that was a great movie. And it's like Idris Elba only does great movies. 100%. So it's phenomenal. And, and he's great in it. And so one episode per week is is when it comes out. And Apple TV throws a little notification on my phone when a new episode is available. Wow, you've given them your phone information? Oh, I guess it's Apple. They obviously have you. <laughs> I have an okay. iPhone. <laughs> Some people, like, I don't get notifications from Disney+. Plus. They don't say, hey, Steph, you should watch this. But, yeah, and so... Um... <laughs> Stop this madness, okay? We don't a have a Disney phone. Laugh. I have an Apple phone. They have my stuff. It was a momentary laugh. <laughs> but I didn't even plan on, like... Continuing on, I, was, I, I had, like, a plan of, like, just, like, watching it when I was watching it. But last week... The notification came through. I was like, oh, I have a 40 minutes to spare here. I can watch that show. It was really good when I watched it last week. So you went immediately after the notification? Yeah. Wow. And then this week, I totally forgot that it came out on Tuesdays. But once it hit my phone, I was like, I have to sit down and watch this again. So I watched it immediately last night. Slave to the notifications. Mm. They got your number. Oh, and I'm loving it, too. Like, thank you for the reminder because I forgot and I needed to watch the next episode. Now, you are usually a I only get 
Apple TV when I have a free I subscription. I don't know when it's. I need to check when it's running out because I ain't paying for it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. They seem to be really happy with this Idris mm-hmm. Elba show. If your subscription runs out, you might be paying for it. Yeah. John. <laughs> you ever heard of Tim's Financial? A little bit, yeah. I've brushed across it. I've brushed across it? Okay, what is it? Uh, Well, I've heard, I remember a news story came out a little while ago of a Tim's credit card coming out. Yes, and it's by Tim's Financial. So Tim Hortons has a new branch of themselves. They are the official bank of Canada. (laughs) (laughs) Well, they have come out with this no-fee credit card um, that you can basically earn coffee and donuts when you use it. (laughs) Uh, Fun. Why not? Canada's obsessed with their Tim's. Why not try and help them out as well? Okay, okay. That's one take on it. My take on it is if I'm going to use a credit card, I want to be earning some real things. like Very true also. Something that I'm going to actually use other than, I mean, like, I'll eat a donut. It's delicious. (laughs) But I don't know if I need to get points on my credit card for it. Double down on the app and the credit card. You're not going to be that person. I'm not, but that is what their suggestion is, is like, oh, if you use your app yeah. and you use the credit card, then you're going to get more points. And if you sign up within the first four months, you're going to get 5,000 bonus points. You've done a lot of research on this. I'm like, you're almost, you were like almost invested <laughs> in getting it. I just wanted to know what the, the, the uh, hype was about. Okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just wanted to read the all of the tiny little T's and C's on just it. the fine print. The, the sign up bonus is like the, the one that you're always attracted to, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. And I mean, when I signed up for my WestJet credit card, they were like, here's 200 free yeah. WestJet dollars. And I was like, sweet, thanks. Um, this one, 5,000 points, which will get you about 10 copies. <laughs> well, just uh, you sign up for the credit card and you get twenty bucks to Tim's. How, how about that? This is great. This is great. Just be in debt for the rest of your life. No. <laughs> I've added a new throwback breakfast item to my repertoire for the morning, Steph. All right. Uh, Pop Tarts is now in my <laughs> I was in my morning my morning breakfast. I was trying to think, and I was like, okay, when we were kids and on like Cartoon Network, when it was like part of this balanced breakfast, and like, what is the throwback? Is it Eggo waffles or <laughs> Pop Tarts? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I saw a tweet about Pop Tarts the other day, so it was fresh in my mind. And then when I went grocery shopping, like the next day, they were on sale, and I haven't bought Pop Tarts in like over a decade. <laughs> So this marketing worked for you, a tweet, and then you're like, all right. Yeah, it was it was two friends talking about it. So it wasn't even like Pop-Tarts themselves talking about it. I just saw two friends, and they were arguing back and forth on like uh, if you put it in the toaster or if you put it in the microwave. And I was just like, I think I've always been a toaster guy. That can't be an argument. Obviously, it goes in the toaster. Toaster, right? I, isn't the pop part of it pop out of the toaster? Pop-Tarts? I, well, that's new. I've never heard of that. I never even thought of that. I've never heard of it. I just it just makes sense to me that things <laughs> pop. pop out of the toaster, so it would be a pop out of. The Look at the big brain on you over yeah. there, just thinking of it all. Just but trying. yeah, so the, so the past two days I've been trying it out. So the first day I did OG toaster, delicious, uh, very good, crispy, very warm though. You have to kind of like give it some time. You do got to give it a minute, otherwise that filling is just going to hit your teeth like the melted cheese on a frozen pizza. Right, Ooh. exactly. Whereas today. Day, I did the microwave, and then the argument between my two friends on Twitter was uh, classic. They, he said, classic 17 seconds in their microwave is the perfect Pop-Tart. Okay, so he's perfected it. How mm-hmm. did your 17 seconds go? Are you like, now I've been converted, microwave all the way? Uh, not converted. It was good, but it was a little floppy, a little flimsy, mm-hmm. but it was like a consistently like warm where you could eat it right away. Ah, that yeah. is that is hard to beat when you, when you don't have to wait for something. When your coffee hits the perfect temperature and you can just down it when it's still warm. It's so good. That was the consistent warmth of inside the gooey Pop-Tart. Now, what flavor did you have? I think it was fun. Fudge or something, oh, something yeah. like that. So yeah, okay, okay. cookies in the morning, pop tarts. Just living my best healthy life in my thirties over here. Part of this very balanced <laughs> breakfast. Another Wednesday has arrived. It's SPCA Pet of the Week Day. Big shout out Pet Value downtown in Eagle Ridge for making this happen, and big shout out to Misty for being in the studio with us today. Good morning. I have uh, well, last week I brought Ginny. Um, yes. So I have the Ginny lookalike Asteria. So mm. she is a two-month-old mixed breed, adorable. Um, she's a little bit shy to everything, but she warms up. Like I know a few of the girls up at the shelter, like when she sees them, they walk in a room, she comes running with her little tail. Um, it's just, 
you gotta build that confidence yeah. as a new little puppy the world's scary like she was just staring at the tv for like <laughs> being like what is that why are they moving are they in the room what is happening yeah, but overall yeah. like the biggest cuddle bug she'll yeah. cuddle you all day every day um she loves toys so she, yeah she would definitely love an older brother or sister in Aww. her home to show her the ropes that you know it's okay you know it's not so scary that's right the world seems scary for her right now just a tiny puppy black puppy fits in your forearms type of thing Steph you were holding her for like three minutes over there I just love her so much I didn't even want to put her down to go on air but I have to press the buttons I'm sorry <laughs> she's got like the cutest little white toes too like all yeah. her toes are little like dipped in like white paint it's the cutest little thing for her <laughs> um very loving she is working on her leash manners already uh kennel training she's great on the car ride up here she was completely quiet so that's always yeah good. and she's mastered her puppy pads hey. so, I mean, go go Asteria. you're a star we love to hear that and then uh friday a couple days from now big event happening friday join us for our uh car wash and barbecue slash nail trim fundraiser <laughs> um not just your regular car wash though so it's with fire trucks you know it's gonna be quite the party up at holy trinity so you can join us for all of that from 12 to 4 i know it's been doing that thing outside that you know kind of i'm not even gonna say it i'm not putting that in That's the right. universe for That's Friday. Right. <laughs> but i mean it's always a good time and every uh dollar raised will go to the shelter amazing Thank you so much for joining us, Misty. Stop by Holy Trinity from 12 to 4 and see her. Well, we made it, Sean. It's the end of our hump day show. Yeah, good job carrying me for the first half of the show here. <laughs> uh, Canada was playing. They were taking on Ireland in the Women's World Cup. Started out just horrible. They could not play soccer in the first half. Ireland scored a goal in the first like two minutes. And then it was rainy and windy. And I thought it's over. But then something happened at halftime. They picked it up. They scored two goals. And uh, they were victorious. So now the, the future's looking bright. Hopefully moving on to the next round. Go Canada. Go. So exciting. They were gold medal champs in the Olympics. Summer Olympics. And so we just want to carry that forward. Big time. What kind of, do you get a gold medal when you win the World Cup? or is You it get just, the World Cup. You get the World Cup. <laughs> Really? <laughs> they take on the host nation, Australia, on Monday. So I think that one might be at 4 a.m. So. so you're totally already going to be up and I'll be here. watching it. And maybe I'll have to do the news that morning because that's when you're uh, Yeah, we'll see. News. We'll see. Maybe the news would just be results from the game. Hey. That's it. There we go. Who who doesn't want that? <laughs> uh, <laughs> we got to get out of here, though. We hope your day's looking on the bright side. Say hi to your dogs for us. Goodbye. Want more of today's show? Download the Mixed Mornings and More podcast. Now available every weekday.